Okay. Show me. Hi there! Welcome back to the Dutch Ashi channel. Thank you very much for watching. And in this video, I'll be talking you through the radio setup I've made for this speed quadcopter I've been building. Um, partly to just explain my uh, line of thought um, in this. Uh, it is an experimental quadcopter, so uh, I might be getting it all wrong. <laughs> um, so, well, uh, and maybe you've got some input or maybe even experience with uh, quadcopters like this. Um, I'd be very happy to get your input on this. So let's first see what I have come up with. Okay, so, well, let's connect up the LiPo. First I'm running an uh, 1800 4S uh, graphene LiPo in this quad now. There we go. Okay, um, let us see. I have, uh, apart from the flight modes uh, for the flight controller itself, which are stabilized with uh, barometer, stabilized without barometer, and acro mode, uh, those are of course uh, just uh, the basic programs uh, from the flight controller itself. Apart from that I have um, connected up the tilting uh, servo which does this. Um, that's not running through the, f the flight controller itself at all. So the flight controller has no, it, it doesn't know about this tilting capability of the quadcopter. Um, the F3 flight controllers do have um, provisions for that. I didn't like those. So once again, I've, uh, I'm running the servo straight to my receiver. <coughs> and uh, for that I have made uh, three modes. Uh, the first mode, uh, I'm controlling that with this switch over here. I hope that's visible. Um, with the switch up on top, I do not have any control over the pitch movement of the servo, as you can probably tell. Um, in this mode, the quadcopter will act as a regular quadcopter, without any tilting. Now, if I move to the middle position, you will see that if I apply pitch or elevator, then the motors are tilted. And in this mode, 100% um, of the input is, uh, is going to the tilting and 5% is still going into the flight controller. So if I apply tilt forward, the flight controller gets a little bit of tilt forward input. So once again with the switch in the middle, I am now flying it mainly on pitch of the of the servo, this movement. Um, obviously I can't show you what the flight controller uh, is doing uh, because it's not flying. We'll see how that works out in uh, my uh, first test flight. Um, now the reason for me um, uh, having 5% input into the flight controller is so that if I run a GPS uh, the quadcopter won't fight this tilt. Um, if I would have no input into the flight controller about my pitch, the flight controller would think, hey, but the, flight, the, the quadcopter is moving forwards even though there's no input in that direction, so it'll try to fight me. In that, uh, in that mode. Okay, and there's a third mode. If I toggle the switch all the way down, you can see that there is still a uh, pitch on the, the servo, but there is also a hundred percent input into the flight controller. So you will have a, combi a combination of this pitch of the, of the servo, but also this 
will happen. Um, I have no idea how, how that will work out. We'll just see. Um, but that's that's what a platform like this is for. It's for testing. Um, there's one more thing. Uh, probably hard to see for you, but uh, the rotors are tilted forward slightly, about 8 degrees, without me giving any input. Um, that's basically more or less a cruise control mode. Uh, it'll start moving forward without me doing anything. Um, in takeoffs in la and landings that might not be very handy. So I've programmed this switch over here to uh, well have a landing and takeoff uh, mode. This way the rotors will be facing dead up. So uh, at, at no tilt. Um, I can still control the pitch as you can see, but if I let go of the sticks, it, the quad should hover in place. Of course we'll see how that works out, but, uh, and this is normal flight mode. And that is basically it. Uh, once again, if you have suggestions, input, anything, about this setup, uh, please let me know, I'd be very interested. Um, I'll also have a link to every component I have on the court now uh, in the description down below, so you can have a look at uh, what components I used. And uh, yeah, the next video will be uh, the maiden flight of this, uh, well, flight. <laughs> I don't know if it will fly, uh, probably it'll fly just a, a, a little at least. Um, yeah, I hope to be able to show you that in the near future. For now, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye.